Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Mandy. This is day 14 of our 21 day challenge and I am so excited to read with you this awesome verse from Psalm 138, seven. Trouble is all around me, but you keep me alive. You reach out your hand to put a stop to the anger of my enemies. With your powerful right hand, you save me. Jesus tells us that in this world, there will be trouble. The friend you trust can at times be mean. Your family may not be as close to each other as you hope for. The problems around you seem to grow and you can lose sight that God is there. Have you ever used a microscope? You get to take an object and put it under the microscope and see it in great detail, every wrinkle, spot, and blemish. We tend to look at life as though it were through a microscope. We like to look at our problems with great focus. We like to ask why and wonder how will God ever be able to take this problem and turn it for anything good. Because we are looking at the problems so closely, they can seem so much bigger than the words we know to be true. God's powerful right hand will save me. When troubles present themselves, they challenge us to trust God, to believe that He will save us as this verse says. It challenges us to do exactly what we've been doing the last 13 days. We need to quiet ourselves, seek God, pray, and then trust. But why do we trust? Because God's promises are true. No matter what we see around us, if we could step back far away enough from the problem, not stare at it like through a microscope, we could see that God is taking care of every detail. He is doing exactly what He promised. He is saving us with His mighty right hand. Do you know why His hand is so mighty? Because when Jesus came to this earth, He let men put nails into those hands. He hung on the cross and died to save you and me. And three days later, He rose from the grave, alive and victorious. Anyone watching would have thought that Jesus had lost that day that He died, but God wasn't nervous. He wasn't watching the problem with a microscope. He saw the whole picture, and He saw what would happen three days later. Jesus won. If you've asked to be a part of God's family, then you're God's child. That means that same victory is yours. No matter how bad the trouble may seem, you are a child of God, and in the end, we win because of Jesus. Death, sadness, pain, mean friends, things not looking like you would like them to, all ultimately lose because Jesus conquered them all when he died and rose again for you and me. Now I'm gonna pray, but I want to encourage you to talk with your parents and pray together afterwards. God, I love you. Thank you so much for saving me. God, thank you for your mighty right hand. No matter how big my troubles are, Lord, I thank you that I can trust you because in the end, because of Jesus, we win. Amen.